going back to to rosin, can you explain why it's so important to remove stalks from heads when I talk to people sometimes and and the reaction is that they don't even want to remove the stalks from the hash because it's just going to weigh less and it's less product to sell and it's less. So why even bother removing the stalks from hash? Less is more. What does that mean? Uh, the the stock itself is it's a stock, quite literally. It's like a hay stock. It's just a a vein for carbohydrates to move up and down, uh, and that's all that it ends up being is just a, a big bowl of carbo carbohydrates. Uh, so it chars and burns. That's what carbs do. Carbs burn. So in the rosin aspect, you have this carbonous, spongy mass taking up space uh, that oils have to pass through. So it essentially acts exactly like a sponge. Your oil sits in that stock. It doesn't want to go past it. That could be that could be another trichome in that area, which would actually raise your yields for squish. So it shortens your work day. The cleaner your input, the cleaner your press, less post-processing you have to do, uh, cleaner a cure you're gonna get. Um, and you're gonna taste stock in your end rosin. Um, there's a sort of general taste and aroma you'll find that comes off as sugary. Um, and right behind that is a sort of dry flavor. And if you can pick up this dry flavor, you can, you're picking up leftover stalks in the rosin. And in an ice water hash, it's a little less noticeable because you are burning on plant matter or you're, you're smoking in a three hole pipe uh, and those you know, volatiles are coming off. But in the dab, they're, they're all there. It's all evaporating at the same time. So whatever you leached in there is in there. You know, it's boiling in that pool. And all of that's going right into the rig and right into your lungs. You really taste every contaminant. So that's where input into rosin is really important in terms of cleanliness. But it's still not a reason to press six star. Five star will be pretty much sand stem with just some subpar trichomes in there. But again, do people appreciate this level of cleanness? Sometimes. Uh, I mean, the, the hash we just put onto the market was a four star hash because the reality is a lot of people just like sprinkling it over a bowl and that has its place. That's probably the larger demographic of hash smokers, uh, especially over 50 hash smokers. They're, they're not looking to get a new three hole pipe. They're not looking to get a fancy dab rig with, you know, uh, uh, a turp slurper and, you know, a, a torch and uh, a temperature unit and a thousand dollars a gear just to take a nice dab. They just kind of want to throw it on the bowl. That's that has its own notable place.